Let's look at the narcissistic sociopath. While this is not an official diagnosis, it's commonly recognized as a person who fits the criteria for both narcissistic personality disorder and antisocial personality disorder. That combination in one person can be pretty deadly. This is Community Activate Mental Cinemas. Welcome. In this series, I'm attempting to match fictional characters with very real mental conditions. The mission is not to exploit the afflicted, but to bring a level of awareness, understanding, and compassion, and to open the conversation of black mental wellness in our community. In this episode, we're going to look at the narcissistic sociopath. This is a two-part episode. Last week, part one, we looked at the antisocial personality characteristics. In this episode, we're looking at the narcissistic personality characteristics. This episode was recommended by one of my viewers, Christopher Rowe. The character we're gonna be looking at is the most iconic character in all of film. Al Pacino's character, Tony Montana, AKA Scarface. Antonio Montana. And you? Here are five signs Tony Montana had narcissistic personality disorder. He had an exaggerated sense of self importance. First, you gotta work your way up to 500, kiddo. Okay, what I did for you guys in Freedom Town, what was that? That rear banger hit was a game of dominoes or man, what? That was something shut else, up, man. shut up, mate. Take it easy. What's with this dishwasher, Chico? <laughs> Don't you think we could have got some other space cadet to hit rear banger cheaper to 50 bucks? Then why didn't you, man? Don't be calling me no dishwasher. Do that, man. Look, here's Tony, fresh off the boat, and he's trying to call shots already. And then the guy calls him a dishwasher, and he gets upset. But you have a dish apron on, and five minutes ago you were washing dishes. And then he threatens the guy trying to get at him, trying to actually fight him. But this guy has a gun. These are the people that you're dealing with now. He displayed arrogant behavior. Hey, Tony, what you find your own girl? My own girl? Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Oh, you go do it somewhere else. Well, get lost. Right. Yeah, maybe I don't hear so good sometimes. You're not going to be hearing anything if you like this. Wow. You're going to do something? You're to fucking me? right and going to do something. Okay, here's Frank, the guy who put Tony on. At this point in the film, Frank has much more power than Tony does. But not only does Tony try to talk to Frank's wife, he does it directly in front of him with his arm around his wife. This almost gets Tony killed and should have. He lacked empathy for the feelings of others around him. You know what? You should listen to your wife, man. She's right. You are. Oh, man. Come here, give me a kiss. Come here. Come here. Yeah, throughout the film, Tony really didn't care about anybody but himself. All his actions and behaviors were self-serving. And when somebody called him out on it, rightfully so, he reacted with hostility and he wasn't trying to hear it. And at the end of the day, all that empathy, lack of empathy, caused him to die alone. He was preoccupied with money and power. Can't you stop talking about money? It's boring, Tony. Where did you go from, man? Boring? What's boring? You're boring. Oh. Money, 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 money. That's all I ever hear in this house. Money. Here's Tony's wife, who he stole from Frank. She's telling him that, look, all you do is speak about money. You're obsessed with money. Look, it's one thing to keep your mind on your money, but to be obsessed with it and let it control you is a whole different thing. But we also know Frank's philosophy. In order to get the women, you need money and power. You gotta make the money first. Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power, then you get the woman. He had a sense of entitlement. But well, what's coming to you, Tony? The world, Chico. And everything in it. Oh my. Tony had this sense of entitlement from the beginning of the film. He wanted things his way, when he wanted it, how he wanted it. And if he didn't get his way, he reacted violently. And one of these violent reactions towards the end of the film ultimately cost him his life. Narcissistic personality disorder can be caused by parental criticism. Well, your mom is always someone who's supposed to have your back. Here, Tony's mom just doesn't want to have anything to do with him. 
she seems as if she wished wish he was dead just calls him a bum and saying that he was always a bum she might have been doing this for a long time complications of narcissistic personality disorder include some of the following relationship difficulties depression and anxiety drug and alcohol abuse and suicidal behavior they say some people are so poor all they have is money y'all think tony montana had narcissistic personality disorder a mental condition mixed with cocaine that turned him into a powder keg and under the right pressure exploded or was he a guy who came from nothing and valued money over life let me know in the comments below diagnose tony if you enjoyed this video hit like and subscribe for more like it we posting a new one every sunday evening thanks for watching this is Keena from Community Activate Mental Cinemas, RIP DMX. Be well.